Alright, we're recording. So, basically the rundown of what we're going to do today is I downloaded the Streets of Rage Remake 5.1 version. Uh, I've been playing on the 5.2 version for all the videos I've done. But basically, I downloaded the 5.1 version because that's when most of the mods that I've been playing came out for Streets of Rage Maker. And I know they're more compatible on this version. So I figured why not try out this version. I knew that the big uh, barrier was going to be, you know, I have to get a lot of my data back. And I'm not sure if you could transfer save data from 5.2 to 5.1, but we're just going to do this instead. It seems like more of a fun thing to do. So with that being said, let's just hop right into it. I checked all my options, made sure they're good. One thing I do want to change though is... We're going to try moving this up to hard. Now, I normally play on normal just because I'm not super great. But we need points in order to max out the shop. And I could kind of take liberty and just try to only get what I need. But I feel like that's way less fun. Um, I feel like I play Adam a ton. So we're just going to go with... Axel for the first run. Now I barely play on hard so this is going to be an experience just because last time I played on hard I noticed it was more of a problem than I thought it would be. We're just going to do the normal Streets of Rage 2 route for now. And then we're going to see what's different. Okay, so that's still there. I notice enemies are moving so much faster in this difficulty, and I know that's the main thing that gets changed, is mainly the enemy pathing and their movement differences. And I think it's really cool when the enemies become more competent and it becomes less of just, oh, they're ganging up on you and that's the difficulty. I mean, that's still a huge part of why it's difficult, you know, but... Seeing them have more health and more... Feels like smarts is an experience in itself. Now I know in the last video that I talked in I was cutting out a lot of stuff and that was probably just because I was being embarrassed of like my voice and just the stupid things I was saying but I know that a lot of people who are watching are watching mainly for the gameplay and um, you know I just wanted to try another video with my voice and I don't know if it's just I might just upload one run at a time but I feel like I need to get way more familiar with using my voice because I became just more comfortable with not doing that. So yeah, like I said in that video, it's I gotta be more comfortable with just letting the game rock. One thing I noticed about that sniper that I didn't realize until like I was playing the game for a while was that that's uh, that sniper is from the Streets of Rage 1 cover art. Damn. You actually see him in a window and he looks exactly like that. So I think it's cool that this game implements things that are kind of so missable, like missable details like that. Because I know it's that character and then the the character with the, the hockey mask, which I don't know if you really are going to see that much in this run. 
because I know he's on the separate route. I mean, I've been playing this game for what feels like a long time, so I, I should be at least competent enough to play on the hard difficulty. Even if I don't get all the way through, I need to learn. Or else I'm just going to be playing on normal the whole time, and it feels like I've gotten far enough to where that shouldn't, that shouldn't be all I should do. I'm still kind of like, I don't necessarily know whether I should cut out long, boring, drawn out fights like that or just leave it all in because, I don't know, some people like the longer videos with less editing, so I might just honestly let it, let it stay in, even if it's like, you know, silent the whole time. Also this rendition of In the Bar is, I feel, I feel like it's it fits more than the, the one they used in 5.2, where it's more faster and upbeat. And I know it makes more sense, uh, you know, for a game where you're it literally in a bar fight, but I don't know. I think this rendition is just a lot smoother, if that makes sense. What I need to get better at is enemy grouping, because honestly, like... Like, I know to throw people in one spot and just make sure to not, like, get surrounded. But honestly, I need more- I need better awareness of the situation. I need to be not- I need to be aware not to scroll the screen because then that's how I get surrounded so easily. I also think that most enemies won't attack off screen. I could be totally wrong and that could totally bite me in the ass later, but well, we're gonna find out, aren't we? I know in this version, I think Abadeda is more prone to attacking off screen. That's so that's the one patch note that I remember from uh from that from the 5.2 patch notes is that they fixed that. But honestly, it'll be it'll be a fun surprise in what stage four, I think. first boss. Barbon usually gives me a bit of trouble. High frames. I'm fine if he just keeps walking up and throwing me like that. Oh! The frame drop. I don't know what happened there. Maybe it's because of the rain effects? Hopefully that's not too prevalent.
maybe that's what hard difficulty does, it just tanks your frames. Alright, I need to start working on Mr. Barb on himself. I say like a kick in the mouth. He doesn't know that I always land on my feet like a cat. It's these first few stages that I'm not super worried about um, in terms of losing lives and all that. It's really when it gets to like the elevator that I'm worried about. Because it's like even though I'll have above nine lives maybe, it'll still be like the elevator and the... And I don't even mean the, the elevator on stage eight. I just mean the, the one before that. I don't remember to collect everything because that's the whole point. Yeah, I feel like I'm slowly figuring out um, kind of what I want to do with content creation. I feel like I'm learning something a little bit every day. And, you know, I think that's good. It, feel, it feels good to learn and grow a skill, which is something that I didn't do for a long time, just because I was lazy and dealing with other stuff. off the bike but at what cost all right that's I don't know how fair that was that's another thing with the harder difficulties I feel like the enemies fall back into their roles like Donovan will anti-air you more often Gaussians tend to around you I feel like in I want to say in Streets of Rage 5.2 it was you started out with the Streets of Rage 2 characters but I notice here you start with the three characters, which I'm not mad at. I feel like I play them better and more often. That's another thing that's changed is there's more spawns. Alright, we at least got some of that. I think there might have been gold bar in the top one. All right, here we go. Introduction to one of the worst archetypes for me in this game. For some reason, I can just never deal with these characters cleanly. Should have seen that coming. Hmm. Come on, you know I can't skip that cutscene. There's still a one up here, yep. Oh, that's not very fair. <laughs> 
don't know why I'm talking about fair in one of the, I would argue, the most unfair genre in all of gaming. And while, like I said, some some games are better with it than others, but some of the older games still have that kind of arcade difficulty, or even just, you know, like, older console difficulty where it's like, yeah, it's, it's going to be hard so that it, you play it longer and you get your money's worth, in quotes. Okay, so they can't hit you off screen, that's good to know. Oh, wow, that was... That was something. And I'm getting grabbed. I feel like I struggle with jets a ton. Oh, there's a second one. That's a nightmare. Let me use my bolis here. Don't tell these guys I'm a fit. They might get mad and respect me less. I can't believe I still lost a life. The turnaround was nuts. Got my star back though. Alright, on to the amusement park. I'm already scared of how this, how the alien section is going to go just because of right before. There's some hard encounters in this stage. Give me that. Got him. scroll the screen a little bit. Now I should be avoiding dealing with these um with the kangaroos because one obviously they don't in the lore they're not meant to you know they're not doing it to harm you they're just doing it to protect themselves. That being said they are whooping my ass so I'm probably just gonna have to kill them anyways. Okay, I saved one. Nice. Extra gold bar. It's big. So far I haven't really noticed many difference from 5.2. Maybe that's just because we're not in the spots where they changed a lot. I noticed stage 1 looked a bit different. I know the beginning was different. I think they changed how quick the screen scrolls for the 1-up in the very beginning. Which is a good change. I think all the changes were good. I forgot they can eat my food. That's so annoying. Oh, 
I gotta keep that in mind for the elevator. I know they're gonna eat the turkey. I feel like on harder difficulties it becomes more viable to cheese them like this. Just because it's like, you know, they you, you already got a ton of disadvantages. But yeah, I'm hoping the audio's doing good because I know that I was I was testing for a few minutes to say the least, just making sure that the audio is balanced correctly. The mistake I made last time was thinking that you know game audio should be just about as loud as I am, but I was wrong. It just makes it a jumbled up mess. And I think the balance I have now is good. It should mitigate smaller noises. Like my chair moving or smaller things. Alright, buddy. One thing I'm concerned about in this run is how good of a Shiva fight I'm gonna get. Because I suck at fighting Shiva. That's just a fact. And you've seen it. If you've watched my other videos, you know. Anytime there's a Shiva or a Rudra, it's just a nightmare. I lose at least a life. I don't think I've ever fought them without losing a life. Alright, I know it's gonna be. Yep, I knew he was gonna be there and I still forgot that they can do that. I think now there's two of these guys. Yeah. These are probably my worst archetype to deal with. I feel like I do worst against these guys. I wanna try not to die here because I know there's an apple in the next room on the ship. Also, a one up here. This ninja is scary as hell, I just don't want to get slapped by that sword. Got him. Alright, now we're on to the second half. I never remember if there's pickups hidden. die here, that's alright. Oh, I didn't even see that apple. It was hidden right behind that bar. There should be a heal in the beginning here. I don't remember if it's turkey or I, I think the first shot might be a sword. 
which is also a one-up hit me too, so okay, yeah, it's a turkey. That's good, even though I use my police. It's good that I am alive as long as possible. They have a different rendition of this song on 5.2. I personally like that one better, I think. I think there's a one-up in this hallway. Might be wrong. Valets is such a weird boss. It's hard to fight, it's awkward. It's creepy. I think that's a good part of it though. I'm gonna get anti-aired by this Donovan if I'm not careful. Yup. Oh, okay, I need that apple. I really don't think there's a better way to fight this boss. Because I believe it, it does get knocked away every single time. Yeah, there is a one up there. I'm still very scared of this guy. And I forgot their AI doesn't make them s too aggressive if they know it's going to condemn themselves. Least favorite bosses. Cool in design, but just so difficult. Difficult in the sense that it can just. If it just wants to win, it will. And like I said, there's probably. Like, you know, manipulations to get it to do certain moves, but I've just never taken the time to learn them. Alright, I need some, some chicken in my life. I forgot he can block, I never hit him for that long. I press triangle. What? It's like a mid roll. Oh, my frames. I really wonder why that's happening. It must have something to do with the effects I have on. I'll have to change it after this run. I'm glad we made it through that without losing a life, though. means I'm getting better. Alright, stadium. There's a long stretch here without healing. That you usually lose a life under. Usually to some random guy. If it's on the elevator, I'm fine with that.
kind of thing so I won't keep throwing the pipe at him. Pause. Alright, I couldn't move out of that. I think Under Logic is one of the best tracks in this game. I think they're all great, to be fair. I feel like it is so rarely good to use the level 3 Blitz. Especially on harder difficulties, it just feels like they'll always anti-air you. If you're even a little bit off. This guy's got moves. I'll do it again. We got some ninjas here. Or we got Koshu. Wonder what martial arts these guys use. I actually don't know. It might be Kempo. I'm not sure, but these guys I, I know are beefy ninja men. I feel like there were agents added to this stage. Or maybe I'm thinking of, uh, I might be thinking of the Streets of Rage arena. Do baseball. Barely got that guy. Even though it doesn't do a lot of damage, those those little punches they get to you mentally. I feel like that's a, it's a huge part of the higher difficulties is just scrolling the screen slowly. But of course I get ambitious and I just try to... Yep. Okay, I think next stop we get an apple, maybe? But I know that's a hard screen. I think they have Electras and... I think Cyclists too. It's crazy how your brain just intuitively knows the pathing after a while. Like where they're gonna go off screen. Apple. I thought I could grab her, I was totally wrong. I think we baited out the ad spawn, so which is good. Let me try this. Nope. We still got a, a long way to go before we get healing again. I think there might be some here. Yeah. I know 
we see our, I think our first Big Ben here. Yep, I think there's two actually, I think there's a blue one. Yep. I'm not even going to say anything about how well I'm doing, because then I'll start dying. Oh boy. Probably gonna lose a life here. Ah, uh, I wasn't expecting him to jump. Believe this is the last guy? Might be wrong. Was wrong. Be 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 be. All right, only one life on this stage so far. I think that's pretty good. And for me, at least. I don't see him do that move a lot. I know I think that he uses a different variation of a move. Like, I think the spoon grab becomes the bottle grab. Oh! Barely does that one. Damn. That charge seems faster. That was risky. I'm not gonna let you do that. The sheer damage would probably be astronomical. It feels like in this version he's he uses the jump a lot more, he baits it out a lot more. Or it's easier to bait out a lot more. Oh. This is a pretty clean stage four for me. And we're gonna stick with the uh, Streets of Rage 2 route just cause just a primer. <laughs> further. Damn, this guy's crazy. I 
know there's, yeah, he spawns right in front of the apple. Yeah, keep laughing. But yeah, I think in terms of content, I have been kind of limited as to what I can play and record on here, just because this PC doesn't have a lot of, I think, processing power. But those opportunities will increase in the coming weeks. So if you see me uploading different stuff, that'll be why. To the 10 people who watch my videos. It's a big deal for you guys. These kickboxers are always a doozy to deal with. Any enemies who block are such a... nuisance. Kick in the mouth. Yep, knew they were going to spawn. I'm pretty sure they have it built into their AI if sometimes they'll just stick with the boss instead of being able to be pulled. I guess when you think about it, these guys have a lot in common with uh, the boomerang guy from Shoots of Rage 1, except without the projectile. But they both use kicks if you're in range and have high invincibility frames. It's just I feel like I struggle so much more with Antonio. This section's a nightmare too if the jets catch you off guard. I remember when I first played this on the other laptop I had. I'm dead. That sucks. I could have used my police there. Not even on your z-axis, bro. Dead again. Oh, no, man. getting murdered by this jet for some reason. I 
can't believe I almost lost three lives on that one section. Now I gotta play it clean as hell. Next food we get is that a uh, the turkey for the boss. Well, I guess it, it's being true to its name. This is harder. That was a crazy dodge on his part. Oh my. What do you get? I can't believe the sheer amount of fighting games that have come out in the last amount of time, last period of time. Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8 are just crazy. Mortal Kombat 1 was good too. That game died off for some reason though, it feels like. But Tekken 8 just came out. I haven't played it. I don't really know if I'm going to buy it, but that game looks nuts, dude. Even though it's stylistic, I would argue it looks better than... I would argue it looks better than Mortal Kombat 1. I played Street Fighter all the way. I played Guile into... I think like early platinum and that took a long that took I think I have 300 hours in Street Fighter and that's how I it's how I got up to there but yeah as you can see the lives start ticking down as we get further in here we still have jungle stage and I know that boss is gonna be a nightmare I have to not scroll the screen there or else I'm gonna be deep shite. This boss could also prove to be a problem if he doesn't cooperate. I know some vice spawn here. Or they should. Wow. Get this one goon in particular a rain a raise. Wow, okay. Out the gate, literally. Alright. Yeah, this guy's low-key a cakewalk on easy, but I don't know. I'm just playing off today. Or not easy on normal. That that hitbox feels bigger. I don't know if he can be locked, but I don't want to find out. Yo, Jesus. It's getting grabbed. At least got an extra life there. And maybe I'll get a star. Just because I have the police here.
All right, now is where shit really hits the fan. is not good. I don't think there's any health at this part. I don't think I'm gonna... Unless I use police on these... Okay. Nice. Forgot the water slows you down. And you know, even though I play beat-em-ups a ton, I'm still nowhere near good enough to do the higher difficulties. And there are still times where, you know, the the anger and rage that this category can bring, or this genre can bring, is not lost on me. That's all I'll say. But I feel like it's a fairly... It's not as popular as you'd think it would be. If I just done a little bit better, the chicken could have been a lot more useful. Come on, there's another spawn here, I think. Thank God, everybody likes to line up in orderly fashion. Always mad dump this fat guy. More spawns though. Damn. Ooh. I gotta just take a second and remember who I can and can't throw. Or else I'm gonna break my legs and take unnecessary damage. I'm 
Yeah, what I'm most worried about here is... On top of these a million and six drivers, I'm most worried about the, the boss fight because I know there is a second jet spawn. Yeah, there's days where you should see how hard I roll my eyes playing beat em ups. But I don't know, it's just a. I feel like it's still fun enough to keep coming back to. Like, I'm not just recording these because it's like, the, oh, it's the only thing I can record and it's the only content I can put out. No, I, I, I genuinely grew up with a ton of beat em ups. And even though sometimes it feels like a like almost a like a toxic relationship of a game genre, it's still fun to me. I wonder if this pipe's gonna do any good. Oh good, he still spawns anyways. Alright, not too much of a problem there. Okay, you got the grab there? I'll take your word for it. Just gonna take it slow, I'm not even gonna... I don't think the roll gives you iframes. Right, good trade, I guess. I forgot to roll. say no way he keeps falling for that all right that wasn't a bad fight actually I thought that was gonna be a lot worse than it was I'm glad I got that jet so early all right here's the the hard part oh no we have fat First. I forgot that it's factory and then elevator. Factory isn't too bad. I don't think Neo X is on this stage. I think that's the Streets of Rage 1 factory. Frames, please. I probably need to turn off remake effects. That might be what's causing the slowdown. Ideally, we get these guys in one spot. Good, 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 good. I've already lost more health than I would like to lose. I don't remember. I think there's a single one up on the stage. I will take that gold bar though. Can you get hit by one of these please? Thank you. Much appreciated. Take any leeway I can get here. Because you know the goal is always one credit. As you've seen, that's not always the case. 
I'll take the punches here just to get out of range of the explosivo. That is very not good. This lady's gonna fall out of the sky, watch this. Never mind, I got the ninja first. Ow. Our one up. Is your pathing really not going to let her? All these ninjas got these crazy, like, stereotypical Japanese names, and this guy's just named Jay. I don't remember where this girl spawns, I'm probably gonna get kicked in the face. Oh, there's a second one. That uppercut worked out. I did not think it would. Not much I could do there. I would love to get my my dash so I can do my blitz though. I'd really like to not die here. I wonder if things ever go the way I'd like them to go. Ah! I need to be suplexing these robots. That's what I need to do. Nice. Damn, these robots look a lot different. The Seeker robots, they get way they get way skinnier on the next version. Alright, here we go. Come on. Honestly, one of the biggest bangers on the soundtrack here for the worst part of the game. Turkey might have to be used here just because of this jet coming up. Because he refuses to get in range. Turkey time. One up though. Big. Alright, I think I think three jets is a little much. Mr. Rex has got a crazy payroll going on for these guys. Am I dead? No, but I'm about to be. I 100% die here. It's amazing that I didn't. What are these ninjas and karate guys? Yeah.
it's so easy to just get comboed into death here. here. Oh no, that, that was a big chunk. Maybe not. And again, these guys are not reasonable. I don't remember if big guy and knife guy come out here. But if they do, I hope it's soon because I'm going to need to use my police soon if I'm not going to waste it. Alright, I'm using it. It's not going to do me much. Seven lives isn't great. There's really just, I feel like there's no way to approach these guys. I'm getting hit by this explosive. Damn. As soon as they block, it's just kick. I didn't mean to do that. There's two fatzos here. The fuck up. Just gonna use this here. get back up to full health for the boss. I don't know if it's going to be two or it's going to be three though. Maybe even four. Yeah, four. This is a tough fight, man. Difficulty changes quite a bit of enemy spawns. I didn't think it would be this much. don't have a police here. Thought I did. Weird. 
hitbox. Grand up, ah. Uh. Alright, not horrible. I'll definitely need to continue though. Or two, maybe. I just hope I don't game over. I don't know how many lives she was gonna take. Not to even mention Mr. X. I think the worst thing about Mr. X is gonna be the ads. Okay. Apparently this pipe is a fucking lightsaber. Can't touch it at all. Don't touch that apple, it's mine. In here, and I can't use police here either. Just ruthless AI. For that, nice. All right, we're coming to the end. This might end up taking two continues, honestly. This elevator part's rough. Especially if I can't get past the first ads. Too late there. Okay, I pressed jump though.
Sorry if I'm quiet. I'm trying to completely lock in here, but I know I'm gonna have to continue before I even get to Shiva and X. Blocked half of that. I'm glad I didn't lose a life there, though. Alright, here we go. Z, Kasano, and then... Yep, figured. I didn't even get hit by a wrestler. I got hit by the kickboxer. I think the kickboxer is actually the biggest problem here. Okay, that was just nuts. I don't think there's a world where Z Kasano should be less hard to deal with than the kickboxers. But hey, that's just this genre for you. Sometimes the ads are just worse. All right, yeah, first continue. This guy's being totally uncooperative though. Now we have, I think, three hordes of ads. Streets of Rage 2 Shiva, which is not fun. Getting punched here. Alright, we got 10 lives in total to do this. I don't know if we can, but I gotta believe, right? a mistake. Oh, wow.
All right, almost a whole last continue on Shiva. I don't know how I got hit by that bullet, but okay. Last five. What? Alright, we actually didn't end up losing life on the second continue. Well, I was far from one credit though. Overall, at least we didn't get a game over. <laughs> but yeah, that got rough near the end. I forgot we have to let the credits roll because it's the first time we've seen this ending here. But um... Yeah, I'm going to let this credit scene roll. I'm stretching because I've been sitting for a while. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to upload this run and then I'm probably going to do the rest of the runs. I might do a separate video for each route right now. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do the rest on hard because honestly, I don't know if I could do the Streets of One. I, I can do the I can barely do the Streets of Rage one route. Uh, on normal without having to continue um, but yeah I think that's it for this video uh, I'm gonna let this, these credits roll thanks for watching consider subscribing if you've been around um, yeah I'll see you next time <laughs>